don't get it. Why is it always me who has to do the pushing? Because you don't get it. Get what? See, you still don't get it. Just keep pushing a while, and then I'll have a go. Will you? No problem. But I don't know why I should. It wasn't my fault the chain fell off. To me. To you. To me, then. To you. Hey, are you going to have a go? No need. We're here. I know we're here. If we weren't here, we'd be somewhere else. Where are we? Well, we're outside a shop. We'll be able to get a chain for the bike in there. Great. Does that mean no more pushing? Exactly. See how I'm always thinking of you, Barry? Thanks, Paul. Don't mention it. Bring the shop in with you. Hi. Hi. You'll have to move that. What? That. What? That. Didn't you see the sign? Oh, the sign. Oh, the sign. Move it, Barry. I'll go and move it. A lot of weather we're having for this time of year. Geraniums don't like it. Oh, well, they never do. Funny lot of people, them. They're not people, they're flowers. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Here you go. What's up with him? I think he's a bit mad. You know, he thinks the Germans are a bunch of flowers. Did he? He did. He's an odd man. He's a very odd man. I think it's that hat he's wearing. Too tight, you know. Stops the circulation to the brain. They should never have banned balaclavas. No. Come on, it's nearly closing time. Right. Hey! I'm in! Move the bike! They're a couple of troublemakers, if ever I saw one. Better keep an eye on those two. Nice day for it. Stopping the circulation make him up. Well, it stands to reason, doesn't it? If your heart's too tight, it stops your blood flowing to your brain. Your brain dries up and turns into a walnut. Walnut? Oh, no thanks. They get stuck in my teeth. Hang on. Nah. On second thoughts, you better get some. Excuse me, could you pass me that oil, please? Thank you very much. Have you ever thought of wearing a balaclava? Just a thought. Got it. Good, is it working? Yeah. Good. Can't be too careful with squirters, you know. Now, where's the chains? Hey. Did you see those people at that campsite? Do you know, I smiled at them, I spoke to them, and they completely ignored me. They're probably just sampling the great outdoors. But we're indoors. The great indoors, then. That's why they're confused. That explains it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Do you know, that's the first sign of brain drying. What is? They're falling down. What's the second sign? They're standing up again. Followed by... <laughs> falling down again. We'd better go, Barry. Why? You won't like the third sign. Hey, you! We'll be all right here for a while. Barry? Barry? What? Stop messing about. Get out here, quick. Now look what you've done. Me? Yes, get them picked up before somebody comes. To you. To me. It's for you. For me. Wrong! Quick, in here. I'm not going in there. Yeah, it's the last place they'll think of looking. I don't care, that's for ladies. Exactly. Great place to hide. 
No, if there's somebody in there, I'll go red and flustered. Well, if somebody's in there, that we'll tell them that we're reporters from the Plumber's Nest Bend Weekly and that we've come to have a look at the plumbing. I don't like the sound of that. Don't listen then. Come on, get it. The store is now closing. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Thank you. Come on, I think it's safe. Great. Can we go home now? We better add. They haven't got what we came for anyway. We'll just have to push the bike all the way home, that's all. I don't care, I just want to get out of here. It won't open. That's because you're pushing instead of pulling. Course, silly me. Silly you. It still won't open. If you want a job doing, do it yourself. Come out of the way. I know what the problem is. What? It's locked. Oh, that's all right. What do you mean it's locked? What I say, it's locked. Well, open it. I want to go home. Slight problem there, I'm afraid. We're locked in. I don't want to be locked in. Don't panic. You know what they say, when one door closes... Another one slams in your face. Exactly. Now, there's got to be more than one exit on a place this size. All we've got to do is find it. What about a fire exit? Yeah. No, no, that's no good. We're not on fire. Of course we're not. Just a minute. What? I've had a thought. If we're on the inside when we should be on the outside, then somebody outside might see us inside and think we're outsiders who's got inside. And they'll think we're burglars. They'll call the police. The police will come inside, take us outside and put us inside. I've told you before, haven't I? Don't thought. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in all my life. Do we look anything like burglars? Honestly. Where would we be if I wasn't here to do the thinking for us? On the outside, probably. Probably. Don't start that. Now, come on, let's find a way out. Well, shall we split ourselves up? Ooh, no, that'd be messy. You go that way, I'll go this way, and we'll meet back here. Right. Ten bags of cement, was it? Right, I just a moment. Be with you in a moment, sir. I'll just stamp that for you. Oh. Bing bong. Here's a special announcement. This is Barry Shoggle. We're locked in a DIY store. Is anybody there? Help. <sighs> hey, look, a phone. I could bring somebody to get us out. Have a look. The manager. He should have a key. Is it? It's me. How can that be me? I'm me. What do you want? I'm locked in a DIY store. What a coincidence. So am I. Just a minute. Is that you, Barry? No, it's me, Barry. Who are you? It's Paul. You've got through to the manager's office. Oh, great. Could you ask him if he could let us out, please? What do you mean, can I ask him if he can let us out? The manager's not here. Just go and find a door. Charming. Oh, God, you found a door. Come on, what are we waiting for? We better not. I think we should find another way out. Nonsense. Get out of the way. I think you're right. Come on, let's find another way out.
Quick, back door. Make a boat for it. We haven't got time to make a boat. Shall I fetch a padlock? No, 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 no. Come on. Make sure they don't get back in again. Oh, no! Hey, where are you going? Back in here. It's the last place they'll think of looking. Locked in. What are we going to do? Well, we'll just have to stay here for the night. Stay the night? Don't worry. We'll make ourselves comfortable. Just like home? Yes, we'll get ourselves to bed. Yeah, but I'm not tired. No, well, there's plenty to look at, isn't there? Have a look around. to look more like our Barry every day. What are you doing? I'm having a bubble bath. I always have a bath before I go to bed. Well, don't be long about it. Wake up, Barry. Time to put the cat out. I'm already awake and we haven't got a cat. Of <laughs> course we haven't, silly me. Hey, now you're up, you can make a nice cup of tea. I've already done it. And I've made it some bacon and eggs. Oh, great. I'm starving. I could eat a horse. Oh, sorry, I've only got bacon. That'll do. Hey, it's a good job I brought the shop in. It is. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, there's nothing like sleeping outdoors to give you an appetite. But we're not outdoors, we're indoors. Of course we are, silly me. Just a minute. How did you cook that? On the fire. Fire? What about the sprinklers? What are we going to do now? Easy. We just keep out of everybody's way until they open the shop. Then we sneak out with the rest of the customers. Now let's find somewhere to hide. Right.
Have a look outside and see if anyone's around. It's still all quiet. Right. All we've got to do is hang about a bit and we'll be okay. Right. Hey, what's that buzzing? Ah, it's a wasp. Ah. Get out quick. Oh, 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 get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oops. It was a wasp, you see. Trouble is, you can't reason with them. Wasp. I'll give you wasp. No, thanks. We've just had one. Do you think we'll be able to reason with him? I'm not going to hang about to find out. Come on. Another step. I'm too young to go to prison with a criminal CD. You too. Who too? You too. Us, Us too. Got you. Leave this to me, Mr. Manager, sir. I'll make sure they get what's coming to them. Excellent. You two are our one millionth customers. And to honour that fact, we'd like to offer you a prize. What? Yes, what? We'd like to offer you the chance to make a supermarket dash. What's that? You get two minutes to rush around the store, filling your trolleys with whatever you want. Everything you get, you keep. I see. The only trouble is, we're too exhausted now, aren't we, Barry? Yes, I'm completely exhausted. Excuse me, sir. I've been following these two, and I'd like to see them get what's coming to them. That's very nice of you to offer. <gasps> OK. You can do the dash on their behalf. Me? Oh, I didn't oh, mean... a nice man. A very nice man. Oh, there's your trolley. You've got two minutes starting from now. And I want to see the trolley full. Off you go. <laughs> it's good, this. <laughs> It was a stroke of luck, wasn't it, Barry? It was. Mind you, we still haven't got what we went in for in the first place. That's right, the chain. Never mind, we'll stop off on the way. Can we do a left at the next roundabout, please? What a nice man. A very nice man. <laughs> and there'll be more chuckle vision tomorrow when Paul and Barry train to be butlers. Oh, <laughs> Noah's Island is coming up next, but I've got a quick celebrity spot here who's from, it's, uh, from Paul 